Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. This is the on the snow, snow before you go forecast, and we are right in the middle of this major storm cycle across the West, which is going to last into New Year's Day at this point. Let's head out to the next storm in the series. Uh, snowing and blowing out there in Palisades, Tahoe right now. That's a live view. Uh, they're reporting 26 inches of snow in the last 24 hours at Palisades, and it's already spreading snow into the interior. Here's uh, Park City with wind and snow. This storm system moving in is riding a 200 mile per hour jet streak uh, in, through the atmosphere. So it's pushing all this strong wind into Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. There is snow to beat the band up there in Alta right now. Um, there it is. You can see the view down at the lodge. Um, in Crested Butte, Colorado, another one of my bullseyes, snowing and blowing there. Every once in a while, we'll get this huge gust of like 50, 60 mile an hour winds that'll just come right across the top of the mountain there. I was tracking winds of 111, 100 mile per hour winds over the top of the San Juans earlier this morning. So that jet streak is definitely translating through. Um, up in Jackson, by the way, 13 inches of new snow in the last uh, 24 hours. You've still got a lot to go with additional storm systems lined up all the way through New Year's as it looks at this point. So here's the big picture. Storm track through New Year's. Uh, amplified coming out of uh, Canada, coming out of Alaska. You can see the lows all lined up that will basically slide right down it and hit the west. The one right now moving out of California into Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, packing strong winds, like I said, are also tapping into a little bit of that subtropical branch of the jet stream. So we seem to have it all with this storm track. This is a big one, no question about it. Let me show you my spider chart. Odds of snow for the next five days are basically maxed out in a number of resorts across the west. It's going to be hard to pick a bad one at this point. Uh, anything in Colorado, go for it. Um, there are some lower spots uh, up around Sun Valley. Um, some parts of uh, western Alberta may not get as much snow. Um, but everybody else, Taos, head down there, Angel Fire, uh, Ski Santa Fe, um, you're, you're going to be in just fine shape over the next uh, five to seven days with Again, two, three, four, five different storm systems lined up as it looks right now. Let's look at the future position of, um, of some of this. Let me just uh, slide back just to touch it. Let me go show you the future position according to the American GFS model. Let me take you into Monday morning. So the storm we have right now over the Rockies moves out. Just residual snows right here. That's Monday morning. Next storm already hitting the West Coast. Heavy snow, high Sierra. Then that storm moves into the interior. You get the idea. It's just storm after storm. So between Monday and Tuesday, um, with another storm with uh, another powder day across Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, California. Um, here's Wednesday morning. And not a lot happening on Wednesday, just sort of waiting on the next storm system. Here it comes, and it's sliding right down from the Pacific Northwest. So you see what's happening? The pattern, and there's also a low off the coast. This is... Friday morning. So there are two things happening here. And this is an interesting scenario that could play out by the end of the week into New Year's. So you've got a low off the coast of California and you've got a storm system coming out of the Pacific Northwest as a, as a pretty large cold front or northwest flow. And the two, if they merge, and there's some question, then by the first of the new year right here, this would be a fairly large storm system if the two merge. If they come through separately, then you just get two different separate shots of snow through the interior. But if they merge, we're looking at a humdinger of a storm by the first of, uh, of the new year across the Four Corners, across Wyoming, across Utah. That is yet to be seen. But um, if that happens, there are going to be big numbers. Here's what I'm thinking as far as totals through basically all of today through the second of the new year, through the second. So in Colorado, there is a wide a wide spread of numbers from a couple of feet to four to five feet in, in a few areas. If you're looking for the biggest numbers, I'd, I'd focus on Snowmass Aspen, uh, Crested Butte down to Silverton, especially Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek's my biggest number on this entire map. Um, look at Taos, Angel Fire, Ski Santa Fe, a couple of feet possible down there. Big snow, obviously, in the Sierra with all these storms coming through. And then the Pacific Northwest, you'll get that a couple of nice storm systems that uh, kind of brush that area as they move down into the uh, the rocky, into the interior rockies. So 
Um, also, let me look at the northeast. I, again, I don't have a ton for the northeast. Some very light snows through the early part of this week. There's one uh, potential more important storm over this weekend. We'll see if it shakes out that way, but looking at anywhere from one to six inches up there in the northeast. I've got a couple of different plumes. Um, I definitely want to look at Wolf Creek. Again, thinking 75 inches possible by the second of the new year. And you can see it snows almost every single day over Wolf Creek in the southern mountains of Colorado. Um, so big numbers there. Uh, here's my uh, plume for Park City. You can see we've got obviously good snow now um, into tomorrow. <clears throat> Some really nice powder days ahead, and it keeps snowing all the way into uh, the first of the new year. So that's the way it looks right now, uh, right in the middle of this major storm cycle, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Obviously, be, um, extre use extreme caution in the backcountry. This is going to be a major avalanche cycle for many backcountry locations. All right, this is the On the Snow Stone Before You Go forecast. Take care and enjoy the powder.